Hey guys, how's it going? So today I want to show you how to do this material in Unreal Engine. Super easy, super quick. So let's start off. Let's call this. Right click. Let's just make a folder for all our stuff. New folder. We're going to call it uh, square tile material. Okay, so square tile. Boop. We're going to go into that. We're going to make a new material for it. So click, right click the material. SKM. SQM, whatever you want to call it, but that's our square material. Cool. Now we're going to add the stuff we're going to use. Okay. So for that, I went to this website. Boop. Polyhaven. Let's just go back and show you. Down. Boop, boop, boop. There it is. Square floor. You click on it. Choose what you want. 1K, 4K, whatever. I went to zip file, not the blender file download and then you can actually set your stuff as well once you click zip i went all jpeg displacement P png but i'm not going to do displacement today but yeah that's how you get it choose the stuff you want the only one to defuse normal you can take both of those roughness that's all we need for now click download you'll get a zip file unzip the file and then i have these right so what i'm going to use is the defuse which is as the actual color sorry if i'm speaking a bit fast so we want the defuse we want the two normals whichever one's going to work best because that's just different we have direct x and open gl so defuse the normals and the roughness that's all we need for now basic basic drag that in gonna give you a little importing dialog there we are imported okay so then we open up the material and let's bring it back to the screen Go, take this that way boom and boom okay to get the stuff imported into a material you know drag them in defuse let's use the OpenGL normal map and then roughness normally you use metallic map as well but the rock doesn't have any metallic in it so we're not going to be using that so for the most basic, you just go, this is my defuse, I'll drag it into base color. This is my normal, I'll drag it into normal. And this is my roughness, I'll drag it into roughness. That would literally be your most basic setup, right? But that doesn't offer much control. Then you'll just be stuck with this. Yeah, it looks nice, but you can't really do much with that. Okay, and now to add a bit more functionality to it, we'll add a texture coordinate. Sorry, to get this menu, it's just right click and you'll get this. We want the texture coordinate, a multiply node, and we're gonna make a parameter so we can set the scaling on this to make these tiles bigger or smaller, right? So we'll plug this into here. We'll make a new parameter by holding down one and left clicking. And that's a shortcut for a basic parameter with just a, like a number value in it. And so we'll right click on it convert to parameter call this scale plug scale into here and we'll give it a default value of one so just click back onto it default value one and then slider min slider min max we go one and ten boom plug this into everything into the uv slot Boom. Okay, that's step one. Now, step two, we want to give our normal map a bit more um, intensity. So we'll go from here, flatten normal. Um, okay, cool. There we are. So I've got like a million programs open in the background. So, And then we're going to make another parameter, like this one we made here. So we keep down one again click convert to parameter call this normal strength that'll be the strength of the normal map which is like say if i take this normal map away see no depth to it whatsoever and if i add the normal map again make this default value one slider one and 
10. Okay, right, right, goes off for some reason. 1 and 10, and then say. Uh, we'll fix that now. Don't you worry about that. Da -da -da -da. And that should be all. Now we save this. Minimize. Right click on the texture we just made. Create material instance. Now in this material instance is where the magic happens. So I'll make a new plane here. No. I'll delete this. I'll copy this one over by alt dragging it. Left alt and drag. Then I'll take the material off it. Default, there's nothing on it. This is our instance we just made. It looks very bland. Go into it. Boop. We'll activate our normal strength. And let's drag that up. Now you'll see, now you have control over how much normal strength you have. And if you move this guy a bit down, this is our tiling. I remember the scalar parameter we made. Let me just make this a bit bigger so we can see. The scale we made, we'll drag this and you can bring that scale up. But we need to change one more thing. I should make the slider min minus 10. So you can actually go into the minus and make it bigger, technically. Minus 0.5, there we go, minus 0.5. You can even go minus 0.1, make it bigger. Yo, and that's about it guys. Thanks for listening and I hope you have fun learning Unreal Engine. Peace.